Well, the National Rifle Association now faces a major legal fight. New York State is suing to dissolve the NRA, a nonprofit gun advocacy organization with nearly 5 million members. New York's Attorney General accuses its top executives of corruption and misspending. More now from Jeff Pegues. The lawsuit argues that the NRA's leadership used one of the most powerful organizations in America as a personal piggy bank. In the spirit of true patriots, we are fighting back. Calling its CEO, Wayne LaPierre, a central figure in the alleged schemes, today New York's attorney general outlined her case. For years, the NRA diverted millions and millions of dollars away from its charitable mission for personal use by senior leadership. The lawsuit names four NRA executives, including LaPierre. Court documents outline his lavish spending, a family stay at a luxury private hotel at a cost of more than $37,000. On at least eight occasions, private jets to and from the Bahamas at a total cost of over half a million dollars, even multiple luxury hunting safaris in Africa. All of it paid for by the NRA. Harry Litwin is a former federal prosecutor. You can't take the dues and the money that, that members give you and make it instead into yacht trips and private jet trips and five-star travel, et cetera, and then lie about it. Today, the NRA fired back, calling the lawsuit baseless as well as a transparent attempt to score political points in the 2020 election. And the New York lawsuit isn't the only one the NRA will be fighting today. D.C.'s attorney general, he also took action. He also accused NRA leadership of diverting funds for lavish spending. Margaret. Jeff Pegues,